Sarah Bariles on how waiting saved her life and why aging in public makes her angry. Appearing to promote Waitress, the musical the week of her 44th birthday. Beryl reveals why it's not easy to get old in front of everyone in 2012. Sarah Bariles had just uprooted her entire life leaving her old manager, her band of 10 years, and her romantic partner of 6 years from Los Angeles, where she had lived for 15 years, to move to New York City. I had just wiped the slate clean and was doing a big experiment. The singer-songwriter tells Yahoo Entertainment. That's when he got the fateful call from veteran Broadway producers Barry and Fran Weisler and director Diane Paulus to write the score for Carrie Russell's 2007 adaptation of The Waitress. A Tony-nominated production that turned out to be a life-saving experience. John and what Beryl now calls the center of my life. After watching the indie film Waitress, written and directed by the late Adrienne Shelley, which Bryles found raw and funny, human, weird and unusual, and deeply feminist. She was immediately inspired to write her first song for the musical Waitress. As Bear Isles describes it, She Used to Be Mine is as much a memoir song for me as it is for Jenna, a prominent character who finds herself in this life she doesn't quite know, finds she's pregnant now, seven years after The Great White Way premiered. The Waitress returns to the big screen this week in a filmed Broadway production. With Beryl reprising her title role as Jenna Hunterson, Big is back. The new film opens for a five-night run on December 7th, Beryl's 44th birthday, and she admits she still has her she used to be mine moments. Honey, do you know anyone who doesn't keep saying who I am and what I'm doing here? What is my life? He laughs, in fact. This new round of promos for The Waitress, in which she spends more time doing hair and makeup. More time trying to wear clothes that look nice or attractive, a whole element of life I don't spend any energy in my normal day-to-day, -day, has caused him to experience a crisis of self-confidence. But Rail recently admitted on Instagram that in the last 36 hours she has been turned on and crying because of the insidious beauty standards. And I'm at a lot of crossroads in my life that I'm at. And I want to be someone who's willing to be exactly who I am. I don't want to pay attention to some kind of unattainable bull asterisk 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 standard of beauty. I want it not to take up so much brain space. And I want to talk about it, because I think there are healings. Speaking to Yahoo Entertainment, Bear Isles explained some of the things that end up on your plate. If you're a public person, are those moments where you're promoting something and you're having your picture taken or an interview? You do. And it's hard because on the one hand, it's really exciting to promote something you love. But as a person, you might go through a period in your life where you feel like, I'd really rather be I don't want to be exposed, but that's not really possible. I think when I get into a press cycle, what I really find is a pattern of insecurity. I'm very self-conscious, really self-conscious. So, I had a moment where, frankly, I get a little angry at women who are in this kind of predicament. We get into this phase where we start criticizing ourselves and almost feel like we're trying to hide the fact that we're getting older, and it's infuriating. It becomes me, because that's what we've been taught to do, as if we're doing something unnatural. When aging is the most natural thing in the world, and because I'm someone who has dealt with a lot of anxiety and depression in my life, this is a place to learn to love who I am in every moment, and every iteration, and every way I show up. It's something I've had to work really hard at. Beryl, who came into the limelight relatively late in life by pop star standards, releasing her first album at 27 continues. So, to watch myself fall apart because of the wrinkles on my forehead, I'm like, what's going on here? What's going on? Because you think you've evolved from something, and it looks like it could blow you away with a feather. Role models, women who are like, what are we doing? Talk, can we just be? Can you leave us alone? I feel like I have a real kinship with it now. I don't want to pretend it's easy. The real truth is that it's not easy to get old in front of everyone. But I'm doing it anyway, and I am trying to just be honest about the way it feels. I'm 44 in a handful of days, and I've always felt very resolved to be like. I'm not lying about my age. I've never lied about my age. I don't buy into that bull's asterisk asterisk asterisk. It feels like another way to make women small, and I'm just not into that. So, it might be uncomfortable sometimes, it's like, man, I'm feeling really self-critical, and I don't want to be, that's not what's important, 
What is important is that I did this beautiful theater piece that I'm being acknowledged for. And I want to be joyful about that. I don't want to be a person who cuts myself down. I don't want to be that, but it's hard. Beryls admits that the new live capture of the Waitress stage production, which features many tight close-ups of her not looking her most glamorous in Jenna's dowdy uniform, scrubbed face and pulled back ponytail, made her go through plenty of feelings about, oh my god, now I'm really looking at myself. But the more I just allow a peacefulness to be also what's there, instead of only focusing on what I feel critical of, it starts to widen the aperture of what you ray taking in. And I think that I can look at this movie and just be so proud of it. And I don't have to love every single shot. I can only love that this movie exists. It's a love letter to this project that totally changed the trajectory of my life. Bear Isles has every reason to be proud. Because certain messages of Waitress resonate even more now that they did in 2007 or 2016. In light of the recent rolling back of women's reproductive rights, Bear Isles says it's really radical to watch Jenna not want to be pregnant and really struggle with this and learn to love herself and love her baby and not have it feel sort of religious or finger wagging. It feels really empowered and felt really human. It's meant to be a show about choice. One of the early scenes is Jenna in the doctor's office and he says, well, our clinic doesn't perform abortions. Essentially, he doesn't say the word abortion, but he says, we don't perform. And she cuts him off and she says, oh no, I'm keeping it. Not that I judge that. That was a line that our scriptwriter, Jesse Nelson, was really adamant about. We really wanted to preserve the fact that from our perspective, this woman is making a choice. Oh man, I still go, go, go.